Hey, say the best for last. Hi. <laughs> no, oh, no, oh, hey. <laughs> I know this right. <laughs> it's all right. It's all. This is good. Hey, teacher. What would you like to say? I'm ready to hear the engrafted word. Man, I'm excited. I'm excited for what God is, what God has done, and what He is doing. Me too. And uh, my greatest uh, prayer is for the body of Christ to come to the place of reality of really believing God's word. That's mm -hmm. where, that's where I'm at. Um, <laughs> is that is that we come to a solid firm place of believing God's word. Amen. And I'm excited to see that. I am too. Wow. Well, prophetess, if you don't mind, can you open us up? Yes, sir. Right. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to meet again, to hear the word of God, Father. We we count in honor and a privilege, Father. We just approach your throne just with praise and just adoration, Father, right now that you are continuing to keep us through these last days, Father. So we are here tonight to let the, the enemy know that we are devium strong, that we are hard to kill, Father. So I just pray a protection over everybody's mind and bodies, Father. I think that we are here, Father, to really hear the word, Father. So I just thank you that our hearts are ready to receive. We're ready to grow that we are united, Father, that we are fortified with the love of God right now in the name of Jesus, Father. So we thank you for our pastor, our teacher. We thank you for everyone on the call, Father, that you would keep us, Father, from the evil one, Father. So I just thank you that everyone is strong in their faith. They're strong in their praise. They're strong in their belief in you, Father. So I think that the joy of the Lord is our strength. It's our buckler, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Father. So we glorify you. We exalt you right now. We are excited to hear what you have said, Father. So speak through our shepherd, our teacher, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 All right. Um, Prophet, since you, you had the mic, so to speak. Um, yes, sir. Any words you like or heard anything from the Lord that you want to relay to us before we get started? Um, and I said this, y'all, because um, we're living in very prophetic times. Um, we have a lot of things going on in the environment. I know a lot of y'all have heard about the eclipse mm -hmm. that's coming. And if you do, a, hopefully I can get into a little bit more of this about signs of Jonah and what is really happening in um, the heavens and things are really happening in the heavens. Um, and I know that you, you know about this. How many of y'all know about the eclipse that's coming April the 8th? It's, it's big. It's, it's, it's big. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be infected with totality or anything. I'm found, I don't think so, but nearby is and it's so funny that the actual pathway is going through seven cities in america that has the name nineveh in it and the bible speaks of the sign of jonah and jonah's was from where nineveh y'all it is we're living in such prophetic times and we are i don't want us to be blind i'm going to teach us something tonight but prophetically um, I believe prophetess and maybe a number of other people have had some dreams. Dreams are going to be pouring out a lot. That's why our hearts got to be right uh, right now. So I know prophetess, you had a dream and I know some other people did, but any prophetic word that you need to speak to us before we get started, it's in your heart. Yes, sir. It's just really about, um, even today I was just walking through the house and God was really wants me really to really tell the world to be prepared for his coming. It's, it's really quicker than we truly think or really mm -hmm. can imagine. But the importance of us really being prepared, when I say prepared, that my heart is right before 
God and man is that even idols, are there any idols um, in our lives? But really, as a Christian, are you at this moment, if God really cracked the sky, are you ready? I don't think the body of Christ, we're not, we're not moving as if we know he's coming. When I say that, I'm talking about my heart right toward my husband, my child, um, my parents. This really is my heart right before the Lord. If I died right now, would heaven really be my resting place? But just living in that consciousness, I really was, God really had that in my heart today, really about, are we ready? Yeah. yeah. We keep That's hearing true. about the signs and times, but have we really paused and sat before the Lord mm. and really upon it? Am I really ready for him to come? Good. What you're saying, uh, prophetess, is um, so great. And, and my prayer is that we're able to experience the sayings of God through you right now in our hearts. And what I'm really hearing, the being prepared is this, is that would you, would you, would I be found in faith? When he returned, when he returned, Will you be found in faith? Mm -hmm. Meaning in him. This is why it's so important. Because in these times, a lot of Christians, look, are losing their faith in God. Mm -hmm. They're searching for something else. <laughs> they are more beyond about being confused in the fact of just believing that God is God anymore. This is where the majority of Christians are at. And they are not sure which way to turn. They're not sure what to do. They're not sure what is really truth. And all what they initially believe, they're questioning a lot of things in their life pertaining to God. And so I believe the great greatest way to be prepared for his return is that you are in and remain in faith. Mm, mm, mm. Remain. And if you're not in faith, that you'll get in faith and you will remain. So when he returns, will he find faith? Because this is how the just live. They don't live by their sight, don't live by what they feel. They don't live by, you know, uh, you know, whether things are comfortable or or things are pleasing, or things are going right. They live by and exist by the word of God. The word of God is their food, is their nutrient, is their, is what hydrates us. The word of God. We can't sit back easily anymore, not sure what God said. Can he heal? Does he really deliver and set free? Is he talking? I can't hear him talking to me. How we prepare is that your our Romans 10, 9, the sinner's prayer that we did is that you actually live, abide in your salvation. The blood that bought you. Amen. Amen. Amen, teacher. <clears throat> this is really good. Um, um two things. Mm. Um, sometimes we just gotta allow Holy Spirit to flow because what Prophet just was talking about, y'all, about the times that we're we're living in. And if we really understood why I said there were seven cities that this the shadow of the um Eclipse is going to go through, um, and each one of them were Nineveh's. Um, I think when, um, what's Franklin, uh, Daddy, uh, Franklin Graham, um, father name was uh, Billy Graham. Before he died, one of the things he had said is that the nation would turn back to like Nineveh, and what Nineveh issue was, what Jonah wanted Nineveh to do was to repent. 
And that was one that said, these are the signs of repentance or the times of repentance that we need to know because it was 40 days after Jonah, um, when, when Jonah got the people and they fasted, it, the Bible says that not just the people fasted, the animals fasted as well. And they were talking about the 40 days and I forget what's going to happen. It's 40 days after this eclipse. This is a time that the nation, and we have to be careful about judgment that comes to, you see, it's a whole lot going on. I mean, I know y'all saw what happened in Russia today. Did y'all see that? Over 40,000 people have been killed. This is some serious stuff that we're living in, um, times that we're living in right now. So prophetess was so right about repentance that you need to have your heart right at this moment and the nation needs to repent well <clears throat> it needs intercession for that so teacher then you were saying about us being found in our faith and i have something here that i i have written this is four years ago and it's so relevant uh i was reading it earlier but that's not what i want to teach on but it's relevant to what you said so let's see what holy spirit is saying right Y'all want to see what Holy Spirit is saying? I do. This is a great time to be a true believer. This is not a time as a believer to be debating the Bible or even questioning if you believe the word of God. A lot of so-called believers are still questioning their faith. You might not know your calling yet. But you should be solid of your faith in God, not people. That's good. You should be solid in your faith in God, not people. All right. He's coming back looking for faith in him. All right. Amen. Oh, man, this is just this is so good. Teacher. I, I prophetically, I want the ministry to realize he's speaking to us. He's been speaking to us and we must receive what he's saying. It's a living word. It's a living word. So we're living in the reality of the word. Amen. Amen. So, and I need us to know this because a lot of times we are always focused on, on well, what is my call? What do I do? What do I do? If you don't know your call and you are still serving and that alone that you are serving, that you are you know, being a minstrel, that you are cleaning the house of God, that you are caring for his people, that, that you are coming to church on time. This is servitude. It's, it's long. You might not know your call. I might not know which office I fit in yet, but if you are sure, in, uh, not sure of that, but you are in your call of servitude. Amen. If you're in the call of your servitude, that alone, watch this, should fulfill you. Mm. If you're reading the word of God, if you're singing, if you're playing the drums, the piano, if you, I don't know really what my call is yet, but if I am serving, I have my hands on the ministry, that alone. If I'm helping out the ministers, if I'm helping out, you know, the, the youth, if I'm videoing, I'm, you, I don't know what my call, but that right there should be sufficient enough that you are serving the Lord. In whatever capacity. Amen. Mm. Amen. Wow. Wow. It should fulfill you. Mm. Mm. That's a son to the Lord. It, it, everything. Mm. Everything. Picking up a piece of paper outside. Mm. It, coming up the stairs. Making sure the kids aren't running. See that's all about servitude. Mm. Mm. And that alone. I'm a tither. I, I'm mm. a, I give my offer. I'm I'm serving yeah. the kingdom. That alone should bring yeah. my fulfillment. Mm -hmm. I don't quite know my direction. Where where do I go? Where do I fit in? But if I got my hands helping someone in the ministry who do know what they're doing, that alone should bring fulfillment. Amen. By God. Mm -hmm. This is important before I get into what I, I want because prophetically, uh, Prophets and teacher was right in there. And I just pulled this out it's randomly. And mm. well, not randomly, mm. designed. <laughs> so uh when you do that, I put here, this is how you stay connected with God, 
mm. and man. I'll go. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it is to me. You stand. Wait, see, most of us, see, we we come, but <clears throat> we don't have it. We're not doing anything. We, you got to help. You can help in a whole lot of ways. The men need help. Let's find out. Let's pray for them. Get a partner. Two women. You know what? We see the brother over here. Well, we're going to pray for them. Listen, I got my hands on the ministry. Amen. In somewhere. Okay. All right. Watch this. See, if you're not in faith, mm -mm. <clears throat> Satan can mm -hmm. enter in. Talk about it. If you're not in faith, mm -mm -mm. Satan can enter in. If you're not in faith, Remember, it's the shield of faith. Okay? The shield protects you. It repels and blocks. It hides you. It can be an offensive and a defensive weapon. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. If Satan, watch this teacher, if Satan has you questioning your trust and faith in God, that is a sure sign Satan has access to your faith, mm -hmm. to your heart, to your home, to your marriage, to your friends, to your children, to your job, to your life, mm -mm, whatever. Whatever. You can fill in the blank yourself. If you're not, if Satan has you questioning your faith in God, <clears throat> not people, God. So what do you think the purpose of the shield is, is all about? This is what Satan, this, and then I'm going to end right here and get into the message, but this is what you need to know. So this is what Satan does. The purpose of the shield. This is what it does. Um, and this is why parents, you really have to have your faith in place for your children. He attacks your children in their youth. Like all our little young kids right now, all beautiful, cute. He attacks them in their youth. This is why you have to guard what they watch. This is why you have to guard what they hear. This is why you have to be sure, does he spend or she spend the night with this relative or friend? Absolutely. Okay? Because he attacks our children in their youth, like he did with you. You better mm -hmm. say that all over again. Come on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He attacks our children, just because our husbands are, and our, we have to have our shield of faith up. Okay? He attacks our children in their youth. Don't wait, people. Don't wait. Don't wait. wait. Don't give him an invitation. Eric, don't wait for him to come to your house. Y'all understand what I'm saying? He attacks our children, watch this, he distorts love. He distorts love in their minds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that person will reject love because they were rejected by someone who said they loved them. That's good right there, Pastor. Most of us, you know, <laughs> You know, you watch true crime. It's always somebody that knows them pretty much that killed a loved one. Mm. Okay, y'all okay? Let me let me let me scroll through. And make sure I ain't lost nobody. Y'all all as, there? As you're doing that, Pastor, <clears throat> it's a known um, it's known that even when the parent doesn't hug their children, it's considered, but it's an unknown form of abuse. When they're not hugged. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think a, mm -hmm. yeah. I think a lot of us can identify with that. And we're adults. <laughs> okay. 
I don't think I hugged my father until I was 18. I think I was 18. Maybe a little older. Okay, I'm just saying. Some of y'all might still not have. I don't know. Listen to this and then I'm going to move on. I, I need y'all to get this. So at, at your children right now, Appy, your, at your little age right now, uh, Berta, all your kids, the enemy is coming to them and he's going to use love. It's going to attack how they see love. You're okay, good. you're teaching good. Okay. So it's like we we know what he's going to do. He's going to attack. This why watch this. He'll turn the children, one of the parents, against the other parents. The two kids will be talking about their parents. You know, this is what happens, y'all. This is how he attacks them. This is why they'll go to mommy and don't go to daddy, or they'll go to daddy and don't go to mommy, because that's that's how he attacks their love. Daddy's a disciplinary. I told y'all, you have to commend and correct. And then I'm telling you, you're going to mature that child. Is that okay? okay. Hello? Okay, I guess that was just somebody tipped in. Okay. So I I'm going to move on, but we have to really preserve our children. Parents, you really got to guard them. And it's the same. Sometimes you got to guard them. Yes, sir. It's sad from the other parent. It's sad. It's sad. That's why you got to be equally yoked. Okay. That was good right there. It's hard you sometimes. You guard them from the other parent. You, it, and it's a shame that you would have to, but that's mm -hmm. the reality of it. This is how Satan does it. This is how he gets in, infiltrates through the children, all right? He gets them divided. That's daddy's favorite. That's mommy's favorite. And the parents, you do that sometimes and you don't realize it because that was what was done to you. Oh, this is the good one. I know my kids. I know all of them. Don't stop me from loving them the same way. All right. Listen to this. This is what he wants to do to all the children tonight, parents. He wants to distort their love. Okay? He wants to distort their love. Their little minds. So they'll reject love. Because love was, they were rejected. This is why it's hard for a parent, my goodness. That's why the parents, that, that some parents just need some help with love. And receive love because you're going to hurt your children because of your rejection. Y'all okay? I mean, I'm coming for the enemy right now. I'm using my shield of faith. I'm going to teach y'all what he, what he does to our children. So they go through life with blinders on. Watch this. A human being is never designed to reject the touch and the presence of another human being. Wow. Never, re never designed. Mm. Never designed to reject the mm. touch and the warmth of another human being. My Lord. Yep. Never designed. Mm -hmm. So we got parents and you got people. I'm not huggers. Why that person not a hugger? You know why they're not a hugger? Because they have been rejected. That's why they're not a hugger. They're going against the design. Satan got into them at a young age. You're not a hugger. You got to ask people, is it okay? You better because you don't know what they went through. Y'all okay? Wave at me if y'all hearing me. Y'all feeling me. Wave at me. Do something. Am I in there? Okay, let me, let me go to the next page. Teacher. Uh, this is just what he wants us to say right now before I move on. But I really want us to get this because our children are suffering because you have suffered and you're placing your suffering on them. Hello. Hello. Hug your children. <laughs> Hug them tonight. 
tell them you love them. You're coming against the enemy scheme for their life mm -hmm. to reject you. Mm. Hug them, mm. embrace them. And sometimes that's what they need to get from you. And that's what they need from you because of what happened to you. Y'all okay? Yes. <laughs> My God. Mm. What Satan wants our children to do is to go through life with blinders on. And they become very defensive when it comes to their distorted view of love. You go up in somebody. Mm, I, oh, 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 nah. It's all right. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Something's wrong there. There's a connection that's been cut. Mm. It's not natural. Y'all okay? That's why we hug at WM. I got some huggers, some professional huggers. <laughs> we do. <laughs> That's what a We missed that, Renee. <laughs> That's right. Renee is a professional hugger. She is. You could have some problem. Let Renee hug you. <laughs> Look, so, sometimes I feel like I'm going to hug y'all too tight. <laughs> you go right ahead, girl. Go, go right, right ahead. Yeah, go right ahead. Right please. ahead. <laughs> do you realize the chemical that are released? Do you realize some of the chemistry and biological chemicals that you are, are, are rejecting or you're holding back that should be released in you? Mm, mm, mm. All right. That was a good one right there, teacher. All right, here we go. I'm going to get ready to get into my, into my cheese. Mm. I'm going to hug. I'm, I'm going to hug you, too. Thank All you. Right. I was talking about my children. <laughs> oh, sorry. Pastor need love, too. All right, here we go. All right. Just kidding. All right. Here we go here. This is why it's hard for many people to receive true love from God and people. True love from God and people. See, the end goal of Satan is to make a person, watch this, hate. Because if you hate, you rebel. The end game, when he's looking at what Satan planned for our children is to hate their parents. That's why they get up at a certain age. It seemed like, it, my goodness, it, they were so cute. Now they, it's a little rebellious. What's going on? Mm. Okay. The end game, prophetess, is Satan wants the siblings, just like Cain and Abel, first mentioned he wants you and your sisters to hate that's what he wants do y'all hear me because some of y'all you yeah. know that's true with some of your siblings mm -hmm. same spirit mm -hmm. not all but a lot he wants you to hate your sister he wants you to hate your brother he wants you to turn away from your brother and your sister. Mm -hmm. He wants anger to follow them. He wants malice to follow them. He wants destruction to follow them. So that's kind of prophetically what God was speaking to us tonight about making sure that we protect our children. Give your children a hug. You're going to tear down. You're going to make it harder for the enemy. That shield of faith is wrapping that child. It's going to be harder for the enemy to come in. Fathers. Amen. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole household I'm speaking to. Amen. What are you saying? So prophetic, Pastor, and mm -hmm. if we, um, I was just, I experienced, you know, love from my, my parents. Uh, my mom was not a hugger, but my dad was. I felt completely loved meaning that when you feel love you don't feel alone when you has have a sense of being loved from you know being a child and growing up you don't when someone may and you're set in your situation feel rejected you won't because yes. you were loved loved 
uh, mm -hmm. someone who would easily get offended. You won't because guess what? You love and love really, mm -hmm. even in the natural way, what it does. It really helps that person to be balanced. Yeah. yeah. And you, you say loved. that's so good, teacher. And that's why it's when you I think we, we, we have a misfire when it comes to disciplining our children. Mm -hmm. And what is the person's response? One, you shouldn't be angry when you discipline them. You should have that under control. The reason I say that, teacher, is because most of the time, this is why we can't go and talk to the child afterwards. We're upset. We're mad. Mm -hmm. So that child at this moment need to be loved after the discipline. You need to know you're building trust. You're building boundaries with that child. And what happens is you don't do it. You mad in the room. Or and they're mad, and then no one's coming together. And now the enemy has room to talk to both of you. And that little dividing or division comes, and it grows. They're 10, they 12, they 15, they 16. Because you didn't do it when they were 2 and 3 and 4 and so on. You discipline, then you come and talk. You let them know what they did wrong. You let them know what you expect. Hello. Yes, and then depending on the child, some going to do it really quick and some going to take a little longer. Based on you. Pastor, this is kind of uh, twofold. You. It's kind of twofold for me. As I hear you speaking in reference to properly, it's more about properly interacting Yes. With our children, as well as, and I'm hearing adults, just properly interacting with people. And so what you said that normally happens when a parent is angry and they discipline, and then they go one place and they're upset and the child and, and all the negative, you know, transmitting and receiving is going on, yep. right? Instead of oh, yeah. immediately coming together and talking and explaining why and just really collaborating. This is what does not happen with adults as well. And this give more time for the enemy to work on both of, in this case, whether it's adult and child or both adults, because we do not come look in love. That's right. If you go ahead, but I just see this overall yeah. With how we communicate, whether it's with a, a child or with a, another adult, is that how we engage with each other, yeah. how we approach, how you should be free to express what's, what you didn't like mm -hmm. and let the child understand that in a way and why they're being punished. Yeah. And there's a time for punishment and reward. And it's the same thing to me with an adult that when you're talking to them, you're expressing what they did or didn't do, how it made you feel. Yeah. And it's at times uh that's appropriate to share what a person did, mm -hmm. how it made you feel. Yeah. Even though it may not have been their in intentions to obviously hurt you or make you feel any kind of way. Yeah. And I think it's important, y'all. Uh, this is one of the ways that the enemy comes in and defeats the 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 home front. Mm -hmm. the structure of the home and um then it's hard when that person gets a job and employed they become a very easily disgruntled employee or in even in church and this is a lot of times that you you're dealing with a lot of people's trauma versus the kingdom but that's what yeah. i love about the kingdom because the things that I used to did used to do, and the way I used to think, I don't have to anymore, because of a new birth. That that is just like the all fix all for me. Yeah, was the fix all that I didn't have to carry all this. I, I mean, me, thank God, I got a savior. I can give it all to Him. I could be free. But anyway, Amen. Amen. All right. So this is what I want us to do. I want to talk about something that's. It's still right in the long the line of what we were talking about. 
Mr. Al, uh, Al, but uh, Adam, can you get Thessalonians for me? Uh, do you have uh, Amplified Classic? Yes, sir, I do. Okay. I think I got the Amplified, and uh, then, but you got the Classic. I'll do the uh, Amplified. But you go ahead and do Second uh, 1 Thessalonians 2.13. Yes, sir. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 13. Man, you sound clear. Go ahead. I like that. That's the Yeti pass house. <laughs> It does. You know what you're putting down, sir. Right, that's right. <laughs> there it is. First Thessalonians chapter two and verse 13. And we also especially thank God continually for this, that when you received the message of God, which you heard from us, you welcomed it, not as the word of mere men, but as it is, but as it truly is, the word of God, which is effectually at work in you who believe exercising its superhuman power in those who adhere to and trust in and rely on it. Ooh, my God. Ooh. Why is Paul praising God here? Hmm. You have to have the right attitude, teacher, to God's word first. You got to have the right attitude. And in, I think it is in the King James. Let me see, man, I got it right quick. Maybe. I'm trying to see which version I had. It might have been the classic, but it used the word inherent, okay? Doesn't matter. Inherent power of the word of God. Teacher, supernatural power or superhuman power, it says. My question is, do we believe that the word of God gives you superhuman power? You asking me? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just asking it. Do we believe? I know you do. For this cause, I thank God without ceasing. Because we, when you receive the word of God, which you heard of us, you received it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of God, which effectively or effectually worketh also in you that believe. Mm. Now, Adam, read it again. That was the King James, y'all. Did you did you want in the Amplified Classic or the regular Amplified? Mm, do the Amplified. Okay. Classic. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, First Thessalonians two and thirteen, mm -hmm. two verse chapter two and verse thirteen. Yes. And we also especially thank God continually for this, that when you received the message of God, which you heard from us, you welcomed it. Yes. Not as the word of mere men, but as it truly is. The word of God, which is effectually at work in you who believe, mm -hmm. exercising its superhuman power in those who adhere to and trust in and rely on it. I mean, we just, teacher, we just run right on past that, don't we? So if we believe and actually execute the word of God in our thoughts, in our heart and our thoughts, then we have supernatural power. My Lord. I, I'm just saying, watch this. When does that happen? When the Holy Spirit has come upon you. If I could just get two people to believe that they are superhuman by the word of God, you would have to be this to win in this life. Do y'all hear me? Super, you would have to have superhuman power to win in this life. But you go ahead. Okay. Okay. All right. We're going to get this thing. Exercising effectually at work in you. Exercising its superhuman power in those who adhere to 
and trust in Listen. and rely on. So it's your own reasoning. Go ahead. Teacher, the, the Holy Spirit has come upon you. So mm -hmm. the teaching ministry is an extension of the ministry of Holy Spirit. Absolutely. See, the Holy Spirit has a cardinal assignment mm -hmm. in the last days and in the end times. The primary assignment mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit to the, to the believer is to teach, to show, and to guide. I'm going to say it again. The primary assignment of the Holy Spirit in the believer in these end times is to teach, mm. is to show, my God, and to guide. Jesus. I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to show y'all something. Teacher, answer something. I got to cut my fan on. I'm going to get hot right now. I'm getting hot. Hold on. Teach, show, and to guide. So you have to be willing to be trained, to be taught, so you can see, then to be led into, to guide you into the answer of now what you didn't see, because yeah, the just lives by faith, not by sight. We have to be led by the Holy Spirit, because look, we can't see through our natural eyes anymore. You have to be guided by Holy Spirit to experience what you cannot see. Oh, y'all going to love tonight. I got something good be, for you. Pastor, I, I think good. you must be willing to be trained. Yes. <laughs> Teacher. So you got to teach. Yes. See and God. Yes. Yes. The teaching, the ministry of the Holy Spirit is a teaching ministry. Y'all got to get this. The primary assignment of the Holy Spirit, as I said, mm. is to teach, is to show, and mm. to guide. First mm. Corinthians 12. Mm. Hold on, watch this. It's very just get it. I'll get you in there. It's very important uh to understand this scripture. It says that we might know and realize. Watch this. Read this right here. First Corinthians 12. I'm going to get it on mine. First Corinthians 12. I mean, uh, 2 12. Sorry. I'm just excited, y'all. I know you're right. This is First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. Mm. Now we have not received the spirit that belongs to the world, but the Holy Spirit who is from God given to us that we might realize and comprehend and appreciate the gifts. <laughs> oh, oh, geez. I'm sorry. <laughs> so freely and lavishly bestowed on us by God. Don't you want it? I'm, I'm, I'm going to break it down. Don't you want it? I'm going to break it down. I'm going to break it. Y'all stay excited. Come you on. Don't want it. Come on. Man of God, read it. Read it again. Read it again. Oh, my Jesus. Mm. Mm. Did he might get off? This mic, hey, your mic is mute. Yeah. I was reading real hard, too. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> At verse 12. Now, we have not received the spirit that belongs to the world, mm. but the Holy Spirit mm. is from God given to us that we might realize and comprehend and appreciate the gifts of divine favor and blessing so freely and lavishly bestowed on us by God. Okay, okay. All right, it says that we might know and realize, teacher, and comprehend, right? So you might, watch this with the Holy Spirit, teacher. This is what he's saying. You might laugh. You might fall out under the power. You you might you might even speak in another tongue. And all of these are wonderful expressions of the charismatic. And as a and as great as they are, they are still, watch this, you still haven't experienced the best of the Holy Spirit. Thank as you. great as all these experiences, 
that you have with the Holy Spirit, falling out of the power, prophesying, every all these things, speaking in another tongue. He's saying, but under those are wonderful of the charismatic. Don't get me wrong. But what mm -hmm. description, what he's saying that you have not experienced the best of the Holy Spirit. You still have it. So, so you're saying to oh. us, if he has Ooh. lavishly mm, okay. stowed upon us this superpower <laughs> to teach, which is to train, mm -hmm. so I can see what I can't see. You stop it right there. Which I is need you to victory stop right there. and an overcomer. Okay, watch this. Then God me. You, you're so in there. Watch this teaching. The scripture says mm -hmm. that we might know. Oh, the scripture don't say it enough. Oh, I know, no. I know, but I gotta stop. But this is where I'm going. Okay. <laughs> oh, that we might know. Might. That's right. Because you watch may not this. watch this. Watch this teaching. Why, Pastor? Why mm. does it say that we might know? Mm. Because this is what the Holy Spirit said, teacher. He said, knowledge is possession. Ah! Oh. The people perish oh, for the lack of knowledge. Babe. So that you may not perish. Woo! So you may not Hold on. lose your, your grip. You remain oh. grounded. So oh. I oh, my goodness. I got to go there. He says, but mm. the Holy Spirit, who is from God, mm. given to us mm. Mm. that we might realize and comprehend and appreciate mm. the gift of the divine favor and blessing. So mm. freely, lavishly bestowed on us by God. You don't look no better. You can't look no better then the Holy Ghost being bestowed upon you. You, you, you can't, out, you, there's no outfit that can outdo that. Aha, aha, hold on. That's good to me. That you might know, and I'm telling you, knowing is possession mm. in the kingdom. Mm. Everybody say knowing. Knowing. Is. Is. Possession. Possession. Okay. Woo! I like oh, that Q. Best outfit is transformation. That's what that's what Q said. Oh, I, I love that Q. Oh, right now, come on now. This is what I want y'all to get tonight. Tonight, going to set so many people free. Y'all going to be like, oh my God, I see how the kingdom work now. Watch this. God is not trying to give you anything. Okay. I wish there was somebody in the room with me. I could just look. Okay. <laughs> Holy Ghost. God is not trying to give mm. you anything. Come on. This is important for you to know mm. this. God, watch this. This is what we say. God, give me a husband. Mm. God, give me a wife mm. that'll listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> give me a car. God, give me a house. Come on. Give, give me, give me some children. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. Everybody say this. Say <laughs> the works are the finished. Works. The works, the works are finished. Are finished. The works, the works are finished. Are finished. God finished. ain't trying to give you. Nothing. Mm -hmm. God, give me, come on. I need a husband. I need a wife. I, I need a job. I need a car. Mm -hmm. God already knows those things. Uh huh. He knows you truly need them. Yes, I need it. Yes, he does. Can we grow tonight? I just want to ask the question. Absolutely. Let's go. Because you know when I say that, I'm about to say something. Can we grow tonight? Let me look on Absolutely. the other page and see if anybody with me over there. Let me see anybody falling asleep on me. Mm, 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 mm. Look at Shante, what's going to sleep on me. I don't know. 
I know she was. I'll deal with her. All right. As long as Kiss Man ain't going to sleep, I'm good. All right, here we go. Watch this. Kiss stay awake. All right, here we go. Watch this. I said, y'all said y'all was ready to grow. Watch yes, this. Sir. This is going to go against my theology and what I've been taught. God does not give. Ash and it shall be given. God does not give. What? Woo! Look at the people. Look at the people faces. God don't give. Okay. God shows. Oh, Jesus. Woo. Mm. Woo. God don't give. God shows. Mm. I told y'all, I'm going to mess some people up tonight. Y'all just follow me. He shows. Watch this. It's a difference. Mm. God shows. What I say the Holy Spirit do? What I say the Holy Spirit yeah. do? Teach. Teach? Mm -hmm. What else, y'all? Somebody Teach. tell me. Show. Show, guide. Show and guide. Okay. All right. And they said the Holy Spirit is given of God. They are one. Mm. It's a difference. He shows. Mm. Mm. And I know, watch this, teacher. I have to say this. I'm trying to do and apply what you've been teaching me. Listen, I know we are all different at different levels of spiritual maturity. All right. Listen, a babe wants you to, uh, wants to be given. That's good. A babe or a baby wants to be given things like That's right. food. Like milk, right? Like toys, correct? Just give, give, give. But as a baby matures, mm -hmm. you stop giving and you start showing That's true. them things. Yep. Good God Almighty. Yep. Hey, oh, listen to what Lord. I'm telling y'all right now. Listen to what I'm taking this slow, going up this mountain slow. Mm hmm. <sighs> God does not give, he shows. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. We're all at different levels of spiritual maturity. That's good. The babe wants you, wants to be given things like food, like milk, and toys. But as that baby matures, you stop giving and mm -hmm. you start showing them things. That's excellent. Do y'all understand what I'm yes. saying? Yes. Mm. 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 We're happy at. We're happy at. We're happy. Yeah. Let me see if yeah. I got it. There you go. There you go. Happy. Now watch this, Happy. When your baby, when Avi starts crying, mm -hmm. right? You know what she wants. Right? Right. Okay. And you give it to her. Right. Okay. All right. She said, right, y'all. Y'all heard Appy said, right. Okay. Now, Ava, if she she's nine years old, right? Yes, sir. She come to you and tell mommy, I'm hungry. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll tell her that she can go and get a snack. You are correct. Herself. <laughs> I have already shown her how to get it. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Did y'all hear what the principal? That's good. <laughs> God does not give. Wow. He shows. Mm. You showed her what to do mm -mm. to get what she wanted. Mm -mm -mm. When she asked, it was already hers. <laughs> you got to hear this, Pastor. <laughs> who who do want me to hear what? What y'all want me to hear? Me clapping. Oh, clapping. Uh -uh. okay then. I couldn't. I can't hear. You. I couldn't see. You. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Y'all gonna get this, Adam? You with me? All right. You with me, Adam? Oh yes, I'm locked in. All right. Okay. Here we go. Listen to this, y'all. Listen to this. Y'all gotta get this. 
It always sounds, oh, pastor, what the heck? You talk about this is the wrong church to be in. No, y'all not listening. Y'all not listening to what I'm telling you. Renee said, you know, she got questions. <laughs> As and it shall be given. Y'all watch this. I got y'all. Y'all watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I said, we're at different levels. So the maturity level is very important for the Christian to be mature. Paul said, when I was a child, I thought like a child. I heard like a child. I responded like a child. But now that I'm full grown, I put away childish things. Give me. Give me. Just crying. And the baby ain't got to say nothing. Just walk over there. You know what that baby wants. They either crying because they're hungry. They need to be changed. But I bet you, I bet you Abby don't have to change Ava now. Come on, Kristen. Can you tie it in? Hello. We got you. All right. Okay, here we go. Watch this. Here we go. Woo. Listen, at a certain age, it's beautiful to give things to that child. God is saying, at a certain age of mature, it's beautiful, Renee, to give you some things. But you full grown now. All right. I know. <laughs> ah, uh -huh. Okay, here we go. Y'all watch this. God doesn't give. He shows. I love it. Oh, Jesus. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. They're going to mess with your theology. Listen to this. Listen. But as the child matures, it is wrong to give. Teach me with grandchildren. <laughs> yeah, I'm going in there. At a certain age, it's beautiful, but then at a certain age, it's wrong to give. Mm -hmm. I repent. Yeah, okay, openly. All right. As you mature, watch this, teacher. As that child matures, watch this. You are now, Renee, are instructed. Appy, what to do? Appy said it. I told her, I showed her what to do. When she's hungry, she can ask. Ask. God said, go ahead, ask me. Go ahead and ask me. Make your petition known. That's good. Jesus, mm. my God. Woo! Wow. Appy said that whole thing right there. Y'all didn't hear it. Y'all let it go back because it's Appy. But y'all better Master. listen to what she's saying. Pastor, so am I going too a, fast? No, no. As a babe, yeah, he gives. As they mature, he instructs. So, as a babe, mm. you give, mm. and this is why we should really know mm. that he is a provider. Oh, come on, teacher. And we should know Ooh. just how good he is. This is at the age mm. where our relationship with him should be being anchored in and assured because he is the source. But you've learned at an early age, he is your source. And as you mature, you are now taught to see now for things to be shown and demonstrated that I can now look, just receive. I'm not asking. Stop. You're going too far. My Stop. Lord. I told y'all tonight, if you can get this, you need to go back and listen. I'm giving you, I'm painting the picture. I'm showing you how the relationship works. And this is because we we are babes mm. in Christ. Because we don't, matter of fact, now with knowing this, man of God, go back and read 1 Corinthians 12 again. Let's see. As you're going there, man of God, at this young age, 
And this is when a child, a child don't develop their trust from their parents in the older years, it's in the youngest years. Yes. It's they trust and rely and lean on their parents. Their trust is already built at a younger age. But the enemy comes in and distorts that love and how that child sees and perceives love. And that this is why it's so important. I hope y'all getting this. I hope y'all getting this. Y'all listening? I'm looking at everybody I'm going through. All right. Hey, Dustin. All right. Good. So, good. Pastor, good. the mature sibling is then supposed to show the Bait the baby siblings the same thing or that relationship and grow it's really like disciple be getting disciple now because that, I'm mature. Go ahead. That's all the leadership at WM has ever tried to do. Do y'all hear me? This is good, right? Here. There is no difference in the relationship. No difference. But what we do is we split and divide. And choose how we love. Wow. It's so important to understand the mature saint. And I told y'all, this is what I, I want us to go. Or I'm preparing the bride and the bride had to be mature. Y'all see how it's going? This is important. Tonight, it's important for you to really get this, teacher. You grew, See, that's why I need the, the help with you right here. Because this is really good. Man of God. Now let's read the scripture again. This is gonna be my last interruption. Me all, right, last. all right, Pastor. So when a child, one of the children, is being disciplined mm. by the parent, mm -hmm. the other sibling normally is as equally upset, and they're upset with the parent. Mm. 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 Yep, for spanking and discipline my sibling. It's hurting. And they pull them to themselves. Look, and they begin to look in their own mind. Look, thinking that the parent is mistreating their sibling. I'm just trying to tell you, this is how the division <laughs> started. This is a whole, it's a whole lot going on here. Let me wow. get my, uh, hold on a second here. Oh um, my God. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Holy Ghost is awesome. He put my head right down there. Okay. This is good. Adam, that's good right there, ain't it? Y'all listen to this. Y'all yes, listen to this. Man of God, go ahead and read that. Yes, sir. This is 1 Corinthians chapter mm -hmm. 2 and 12. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we have not received the spirit that belongs to the world, mm. but the Holy Spirit who is from God. God, stop right there. But you have received. Yeah, there it is. But you have received. I told y'all, y'all, y'all got to get this. Y'all got to get this. That we might know, that we might know. And I said, knowing is possession. possession. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. he said that you have received mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit. You have, not the spirit of the world, mm -hmm. but you have received. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, man of God. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit who is from God, given to us that we might realize and comprehend and appreciate the gifts of divine favor and blessing so freely and lavishly bestowed on us by God. Oh, that's so beautiful. Watch this. We are not trying to receive that we might know the things, teacher, that are freely given. Listen to this. We're not trying to receive that we might know the things that are freely given. He has already given them to you. We're not going, he, he's not going to give them. He's already giving them to you. Okay. <clears throat> so I said this to Tashana way back, way back. Y'all, I said, T, you must know what is yours and then command what is yours. But you have to know what's freely been given to you. 
and you can command what is yours because it is yours. That you we don't, might you're not asking for it. That we might know. You don't ask for what all is already yours. Y'all let me. Okay. Hold on, teacher. But you go ahead. No, that's good. Watch this. You. He has already given them to you. He's not going to. He has already given them to you. Oh, you have to observe the tense. If you observe the tense of the scripture, what he said, he said, I have already given to you. You got to know the tense of the word. Watch this. If you know the tense of the word, you will never go into error, teacher. I know that's right. Because he's not about... trying. He has. He all you all you have been healed. You already been healed. And to know the things that are freely given to you. He gave them to you when you got saved, when you was a babe. I gave them to you. The word of God says, I've given you everything that pertains to life and godliness. I've given you everything. What does it give you? So it proves, Pastor, that he is not giving, giving us nothing, nothing he else. He gave us everything. Everything. Hold pertaining, on. Pertaining to life and godliness. Okay, we don't go into much scripture. Hold on. <laughs> Be right, though. Oh, he's already given them to you. You have to observe the tense. If you observe the tense of the word, you will never go into error. Reread so fast. We do have <laughs> to try. You don't have to try to get them, y'all. You don't have to try to get what's yours. Mm, 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 mm. Here I go again. The ministry of the Holy Spirit is to show them, to reveal to them. In essence, when you come into this meeting tonight, right here at this Bible study, like this tonight, what is happening is that you are being shown what is already yours. You know the thing that you desire. It's already, it's already yours. Adam, you said you wanted the studio where you could perform and do your work that God has given you. You, you said that, didn't you? Yes, sir, I did. Well, guess what? Tonight, and amen. Is yours. it's already there. This is why I said you can't imagine, you can't desire anything that's not real. It is. Amen. It's already given. It, it's already given. The scripture said that. He's already given it. The scripture. I'm standing on the scripture. Watch this. Let me finish this. And I'm going to bring this to an end. Oh. Tonight, God is showing you tonight what is already yours. Mm -hmm. So, see, when we, when revelation comes to you, that light that comes to you, and to the end of the moment, Watch this. Your eyes can behold it, the yeah. truth. Yeah. It becomes your present reality. And now you can experience what is yours. Holy smoke. Okay, I'm going to say it again. And do, do it really slow. I'm going to say it really slow. Listen to this. I'm going to say tonight. So Holy Spirit said tonight he is showing us what is already yours. He's telling us by the scripture, he's saying, I'm showing y'all what's freely, what is already yours. So what is happening here? He said, you see, when you, I need you to get this right here. So when the revelation comes to you tonight, which I know it already had to some of you, mm -hmm. when the revelation comes to you, that light that comes to you, because that's what revelation is. Mm -hmm. And to the end of the moment, your eyes can behold that truth, mm -hmm. it becomes your present tense reality mm -hmm. and experience in mm -hmm. your life. Mm -hmm. 
So the moment mm. that you see it mm. becomes a present reality, it's yours. The moment that you allow the light, which is the word of God, That's right. to enter your heart, it becomes now to you. It becomes present you, right now. It is now in this moment. At any time you permit the light to enter your heart, which is the word of God, you're able to have it now. And you're going to have a desire. And you're going to wake up, look, declaring it, not just saying it, but you desire it. And you're going to be expecting it. You're going to get up expecting, looking, looking. Man, for the people, just get up expecting in high expectation. Teacher, your declaration, that word you use, Listen to me, y'all. Your declaration is your ID. It your declaration is your uh, how I want to say it? it's your IP address. That's what your declaration is. That's where it mm. comes to your IP address. Mm. That's what your declaration mm. is in the spirit realm. It is your IP address. Your declaration, what you say, y'all. Y'all listen to what what I'm saying right here. And I'm going to say it again, teacher. They got to get it. Once the revelation comes to you, that light that comes to you uh, and to the end of that moment, the end of that moment, your eyes can behold it. Y'all understand the truth. It becomes a present tense reality and experience in your life. I'm going to say this. Uh, write this. I said this on Tuesday, and I don't know if anybody got this. God is writing a beautiful story of your life. With all, all the hell, with all the tragedy, God is writing a beautiful story mm. about your life. You mm. are a written, the Bible says, epistle, read of men. Mm. Listen, and when they judge you, your life, they will say, this is the goodness and the mercy of God that is upon me. Mm. See, we don't understand what's going on in your life, why these things happen, why they are necessary in your life. God is writing a beautiful story with your tragedies. Mm. Good God Almighty. Watch this, teacher. Watch this. I need y'all to believe this. Romans, ready? This is good right here. Romans 4, 16 and 17. Let me get that too. So we I know I'm closing here. This is Romans chapter 4 and verse 16. Therefore, inheriting the promise is the outcome of faith and depends entirely on faith mm. in order that it might be given as an act of grace, Woo. merited favor to make it stable and valid and guaranteed to all his descendants, not only to the devotees and adherents of the law, but also to those who share the faith of Abraham, mm. thus the father of us all. At verse 17. Mm -hmm. I'll skip the whole chapter. So I'll... Mm. Verse 17, as it is written, I have made you the father of many nations. He was appointed our father in the sight of God in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and speaks of the non-existent things that he has foretold and promised as if they already existed. Oh. Do old King James on him on that last verse 17. Verse 17 in the King James. Uh-huh. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations. Before him whom he believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead, and called those things which be not as though they were. And he said that he already gave them, didn't he? Didn't he? Didn't he say that? What's it? He said, I have made, watch this teacher. He said, I have made you. Woo. You, he, he didn't say, I will give you. He said, I have made you. Go back to that. At verse 17. 
as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations mm. before him whom he believed, even mm. God, who quickeneth the dead and called those things which be not as though they were. He said, oh, y'all have to hear that. He said, I have made you. He didn't say, I will give you. And while yet you were barren, God said, I have made thee a father of many nations. There won't no till, there won't no nations. Mm. But he made him to be that. But he won't. Mm. But he was. But he won't. But he was. God says it is written in this scripture. I have made. Oh, my goodness. Where am I? I'm going to make sure I get this right here myself because I'm going to show you something here. Mm, mm, okay. Four and 16. Right there. All right. Uh, and the Amplified, therefore, inheriting the promise is the outcome of your faith. Men of God, Amplified on 16. Yes, sir. At verse 16. Yes. Therefore, inheriting, <clears throat> therefore, inheriting the promise is the outcome of faith and depends entirely on faith in order that it might be given as an act of grace, unmerited favor, to make it stable and valid and guaranteed to all his descendants, not only to the devotees and adherents of the law, yeah. but yeah. also to those who share the faith of Abraham, who is thus the father of us all. That's it. That's us right here, isn't it? So he said right here, listen, God is not trying to give you anything. He made you already. Verse 18. Go on, bring this home. <laughs> and verse 18. For Abraham, human reason for hope being gone, mm. hope in faith that he should become the father of many nations as he had been promised. So numberless shall your descendants be. Observe in the previous verse, I have made, right? But by, I've made thee, but by faith. Watch this. He became. So faith, teacher, is not trying to get you something you don't have. Faith is giving you an expression to what you are. Look at it. Hold on. Hold up. Y'all, I'm just... Don't 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 go leave me now. Wait, and watch we, this. I mean, we want to scream. We just go ahead and scream. I, I'm I'm trying to. He's talking to us about faith. He said, "I already made thee a yes. father of many nations." Uh -huh. Yet he wasn't. But by faith, he already was. He already had it. <laughs> okay. Okay, just God Almighty. Oh. Woo, teacher. Watch this. Watch this. Observe the previous verse. I have made thee, but by faith, by his faith, he became. So faith is not trying to get you something you don't have. That's what you've been taught. Faith is getting you something you don't have. Faith Go is ahead. giving you an expression to what you are. That is you good are right there. A father of many nations. By faith, you are. I made you that. That's good. Okay. That's okay. good. I, I, whoo, oh, my God. Watch this, teacher. Watch this. This is so important because this is a major missing link in the faith practice of a lot of believers. We are trying to get something. We've been told to use our faith to get something. Mm. Release your faith for something. Mm, to mm. <laughs> listen to to become rich release your faith to to use your faith to become wealthy release your faith to be healed mm -hmm. Go ahead. you're already healed 
See, I need to help. He said that. that you wouldn't know. Holy Spirit revealed to you. He's guiding you. He's teaching you. That's He's right. revealing, showing you that mm -hmm. you are, that mm -hmm. you might know the things that are freely mm -hmm. given to you. Mm -hmm. And I've lavishly uh, uh, bestowed them upon you. Mm -hmm. Faith is not trying to get something that's already yours. Faith is showing you who you are. Mm -hmm. ah! Oh, Jesus. Watch this. Me. I'm going to mm -hmm. show you. You don't think so? Go to 2 Corinthians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you that you're wealthy. I'm going to show you that you have everything that you could possibly want. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you I'm preaching from the building right now. 2 mm -hmm. Corinthians mm -hmm. 8 and 9. You got yes, King sir. James and Amplified. Do the, do the King James. Mm -hmm. ah. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9 in the King James. For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. Mm. <laughs> Read it again. Read it again. For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, <laughs> That though he was rich. Though he was. Listen to the tense. He was. Sakes. He was rich. Go ahead. He not no more because. Go ahead. Yet for your sakes he became poor. That ye through his poverty might be rich. Oh. Oh that you might know. He said that's the biggest thing in that scripture. That you might know the things that have been lavishly bestowed on you. You know those things uh, that are hidden, fenced in for you? That's the scripture. Woo! Man of God, you 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 did nine, right? That yes, he might be made. What? Rich. That you might be made. What? Rich. The truth, listen, the truth is that I, I watch this. This is what the problem is, teacher. This is where we where we fall here. The truth, the truth is, I am rich. Even if I don't have the money in my bank account. But the truth of it is, I am. Did you hear that? Uh-oh, I am. Maybe somebody gonna get that. Who sent you? I am. The I truth is, that. I am rich. Because, watch this, he made me. He made me. He bestowed it. And I know that he made it. And I know the scripture can't lie. I know. I don't have to see it. I believe it. That's my currency. The faith is not to get what I already have. The faith is for me to become rich. So if we it. really understand this, Pastor. I, I, I'm going to finish it up here. You go ahead, teacher. I, I, I'm just about. I ain't, I'm almost I finished. Need I need us to understand when he was talking about rich and he became yes. poor. I need us to understand and how he said he bestowed upon us mm -hmm. and the blessings. So with. Well, you got to let me get to the end, but. Okay. Okay. Well, you go ahead. Okay. But, it's, but, it's, it's the but, fact that. But go ahead. Yeah. We're going to do it. Go ahead. No, I'll come back up the rear. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Go ahead. Because somebody's. Somebody's thinking this, and I want them to understand something. You're you're not you're not asking for what's already yours. He's given it to you, and now he's giving you instructions how to. I've given you all things pertaining to life and godliness. And that your spiritual, this is why spiritual maturity is so important. Because you won't see, you still be asking. Go ahead, Pastor. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Let me see. I, 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 Brandy, what do you got a need for? See. Seed. Okay. I mean, 
you can be more. So he does what? He gives seed to the, to sower. the sower. Yes, sir. So how many jobs, how many streams of income do you have right now? Three. You had one. Mm. What he revealed to you was already yours. Amen. You just needed seed. Mm -hmm. And see, every seed, the Bible says, produces after what? Its own kind. Mm -hmm. Oh, T said four. I'm sorry, four. <laughs> yeah, you right. I would I'm say. Because I didn't count I, it. Okay. I would say, I would say from one to four, I would say mm. that what you asked for mm. was already given to you. This mm. is the thing we don't understand. In due season. In due season doesn't mean next February. It's me, mean, it means when the season is due, you shall have a harvest in due season. We don't put, a, you can't put a time on due season. It's when, watch this, when you have matured enough, when you have been pruned for growth enough. See, it's all built in. You're asked for what was already yours. Ask again. Amen. Ask Amen. again. See, ask again. That's what he said. As again, he's the just God. He's the just. He's not giving. He's revealing. I've already given you everything that you need. Pertaining to life, oh, and godliness. It's already yours. I've given it to you. Now possess it. How you possess it. Knowledge is possession. Good God Almighty. Knowledge is possession. Woo! Glory to God. Y'all not, y'all not ready. Y'all not ready, teacher. Do you hear this? Uh, Do you hear this? Yeah, we up oh, <laughs> We near our time. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, the truth is, okay. So observe this. He rich. Okay. Oh, okay. Observe this. He has made me. And let me see this. Observe, observe this. Watch this. He has made me by my faith. I become. Watch this. He has made me. You listen to this, y'all. Observe this. He has made me, and by faith, I become. My faith does not make. My faith does not make. He has made me. My faith gives me expression mm -hmm. of who I am. Mm -hmm. And you shall be the father because you believe. And it was a credit to him as righteousness because he believed. It was bestowed upon him. He didn't do anything. And what he has lavishly bestowed upon us. You didn't do anything except believe. Your faith is who you are. It's your becoming. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to give you an example. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I'll give you an example. What made a king in the Old Testament in Israel? The crown? Was it the crown that made him a king? Hmm. Was it his robe? Did the robe make him a king? Was it the throne that he sat on that made him a king? Nope. Watch this. Anybody know? Anybody know what made a person a king in the Old Testament? Just come on back. We got Okay. Jesus. All right. Okay. Watch this. It was the oil. The oil of the prophet made you the king. The moment the oil hit your head, you became the king of that nation. Let's just talk about King David. The moment that oil from Nathan laid on his head, 
he became king. Watch this though. Watch this. Question. When the oil hit David's head, did he ascend to the throne right then? He didn't. When did he become king? Over Israel. When he had the crown again laid on his head? When he had subjects all around him? Question. When that oil hit his head, did he look like a king? No. The oil hit his head. Watch this. He continued to be with the sheep. Look at a good, listen, he was a good shepherd. When that oil hit his head, he continued to be a shepherd. Watch this, watch this. Nothing changed on the outside. God had already, watch this, made him king. Good God Almighty. Y'all gonna get this. God had already made him a king, yet he was a little shepherd still in the fields. The whole hit his head. The moment the oil hit David's head from the prophet, he became king of Israel. Yet he was still a little shepherd. Y'all all right? Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Watch this. I need y'all to get this. Nothing changed on the outside because God had already made him. But he was becoming, watch this, the king teacher. That's why you should never be sad where you are in your life. Never. God has already made you. He's already made me. He called me a pastor before I even knew what a pastor was because he had made me such. Uh, Y'all understand? He made me. I was becoming. Your becoming will always be greater than who you are. Most excellent. You're becoming. I told y'all, you're becoming is greater than who you are. You're not becoming a husband. You're not becoming a wife. You're, you're not becoming a father or, or a business person. You're becoming uh, a minister. You're, no, no, God has already made you. He's already made you that. Anna wants to be, she said, I want to be a minister. You already been a, you're already a minister. God, you said it, you made a declaration, and now you're becoming. And one day, just like King David, you're gonna become. You're gonna be. Y'all understand? Already gave you everything you need. Everything that you need has been given to you. It's just that version of you can't accept it. David was already king as a little boy when Nathan poured the oil on him. But he had to become. He was becoming. God already ordained him. I, uh, um, Abraham was already a father. But for 25 years, he had to go into his wife. He was already called that. He was already that. Yet he was broke. Poor, but he made he, you became rich through his poverty. You already are, but you won't do the business. You won't do the job. You won't develop your character. We won't do the title. Or we won't work operate in the kingdom. So you are. There's spiritual laws that have to take place. David had to go through all of the hurt and the people turning on him and going through the caves and all that. He had to go through all that to become king. He was already king when the oil hit him. When you got baptized, you were already. You were just becoming. Go ahead, teacher. Anybody? I just want us to understand about he became poor so that we might be rich. Yep, he sure did. I need us to understand that. Um, I want to condense it real quick. I won't ask you what you believe what it is. Me? Uh, just pardon me, Pastor. You asking me? 
No, no. Oh, oh okay, because no. If you use scripture, you will see exactly. I'm just saying as how do we as a congregation believe, mm -hmm. how do we see and understand that scripture? Mm. It's because we're not talking about money. You are, are you, but it's not excluding. That is excluding. That is not the soul. It's how we hear. Mm -hmm. How we hear is money. That is available in it this is. scripture. But, but that's not the that is not the summation of what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Is that so for him to become poor, what would that look like? Mm -hmm. It can't be for him about money, for him to become poor. So mm -hmm. it was simply him having to become now a part of humanity. What was, what is, was deity, remained to be deity and divine, but he was then wrapped in flesh. That's poverty. Mm -hmm. I want, look, I'm letting it sink in. Yep. That's poverty. How did Jesus become poor? <laughs> and why would he need to become poor and we become that you rich? Might be rich. That's right. So he actually, when he decided to actually be to come in the form of his son, Christ Jesus, in the flesh, he became poor. And so now the rich is like now he so he didn't lose his deity. He still had that. And he still had his riches because he, look, from his throne and all his power mm -hmm. and his dominion, mm -hmm. he still had. But this is why he had to then die and be risen on the third day, then be ascended to go sit on the side of the father now forever interceding for us. And now we have that power mm -hmm. and authority and dominion in the earth as Christ living out the life that you will be rich. So now with the authority and power that you now have in Christ Jesus, which you wouldn't able to have as being mere, a mere man, having all access to infinite wisdom and knowledge, you would definitely be rich. Mm -hmm. It is a component, but it is not the summation of the whole. So you really would have to die with him to be risen with him mm -hmm. that when he ascended and he sat on the right hand side of the father and now you have now that power and authority you share in that. And we're supposed to not be wanting anything. Nope. Nothing. He became poor because he had to now partake in the flesh as a human. Mm -hmm. Now you truly must die to inherit Yep. To live again. Yep. To now pull from the promises. Mm -hmm. And they are yes and amen. We receive our adoption. We, because we, and I know how we hear when we hear rich. Rich. We're hearing money. That's one of the components. Mm -hmm. Because we, we need that to advance the kingdom. Absolutely. Key word, the kingdom. And you will have to have wisdom. I think something that Brandy is doing, a lot of other people need to probably leverage from. How is she able to do her full-time job 
and three other passive income. Well, she has a purpose uh, why she's doing what she's doing. Mm -hmm. And it's not really coming. for self gain. And, and mm -hmm. it is. And I'm watching her do that. I'm watching her grow and expand to um, some of the things that she has personally uh, wants um, from God, which it's your becoming is just if your faith is it, not for things. It is your faith is about you becoming your faith. And when you become more like God, yep. what you do and desire will not be for self. No. And this is why Brandy is able to do those three passive, well, excuse me, yeah, three passive income in her full-time job income, not because she need to pay no bills. That I'm doing it to pay some bills off. I'm doing it because I need more mm -hmm. money to be brought in my house with me to take care of the things, but for the kingdom. See, and this is how you're going to have more than enough because you need to have more than enough to meet not only your needs, but the needs of others. So more can get in your hand if you're trying to just do it for yourself. Not if you work in this way of the kingdom. Everything that she's going, God has already given to her. This, and he said he had things that are fenced in, shielded away. They, they are yours. They, they really are. That's how I know the building. I, I'm not. It's not about the money. It's about my becoming. Absolutely. My faith. My faith. It's not about the seven million dollars. It's about me becoming. Mm -hmm. able character to handle that type of facility for the kingdom. And I love, I love that pass. And I think that's where we probably close on it. Everyone know they need to forget who you are yeah, and simply start becoming who God has called you already to be. That's what Abraham so uses. I'm not in. love. I don't feel love. I don't, you know, this is not happening. That's not happening for me. Maybe I need to move another location, but you know, and do new things, be around some more people. No, you simply need to forget who you are and become who God said for you to be. And you look, and you have the sense of being loved. You won't feel alone. You won't feel like you're losing your mind because you are becoming. That's right. Sober it's in the mind. You are being loved by the beloved. Now, yeah. that's why he gave us Abraham, y'all, because he, he he said it. He said, I've already bestowed that upon you. You are that. But it took for it took 25 years for him to see. He said, but I made you a father of many nations. This has been so it was just becoming. So excellent, Pastor. I just really hope that um we go back and really listen to this. This is this is the most phenomenal online Zoom <laughs> we uh, the ministry could ever have. I am so excited about it. I would love for Adam to. Sh Everyone has some awesome things. I was trying to you know go through the chat and see things. I love what uh Cynthia Rollins was putting. She said she's really learning. She's really learning. I, I guess love, you know. love, love that. And a lot of other people saying how they're learning and they love this teaching. And uh Adam had mentioned about this particular scripture. Adam, what you're talking about really a uh, divided heart. It was in Psalms, Ooh. you said. Can you read it? Yes, uh Psalms 86 at verse 11. I was I was reading it earlier. I'm trying to find the the, okay. the correct version. I'm sorry. Okay. This is so good because when you do truly, uh, I love Pastor, Pastor speaking about faith and not yeah. trying to get something with your faith. That That's mm -hmm. an expression of, it's a, of who you are. You're helping yeah. people who've been brought up in, you know, the traditional church and, and faith. And look, this is why we're, quote unquote, losing our faith. And believing that God is even who he said he is and going to do what he said he's going to do. And this is what you've even seen on a lot of social media. Uh, have you got there, Adam? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I fell in the Holy Ghost. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Psalms 86 and verse 11. The verse 11 was the verse. It says, teach me your way, O Lord. 
mm. that I may walk and live in your truth. Direct and unite my heart solely, reverently, mm. to fear and honor your name. And that was the specific verse that was pulled out. That was good right there. I'm telling you. Can I hear that one more time? Is that yes. the Amplified, right? Amplified Classic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let me hear that one more time. And verse 11, uh, Psalms 86. Teach me your way, O Lord. Mm. Hold on, teach. Mm, okay. The verse you pulled out earlier, which is what, what brought it back to my memory from early today. Mm. Train mm. me. Go ahead. That, that's right. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk and live in your truth. Direct and unite my heart. Direct? Right there. Right there. Teach, show, and guide right is what Holy Spirit does. Mm. He's God. Yep. That's mm. right there. Um, direct and unite my heart solely mm. reverently to fear and honor your name. Because mm. my heart is divided right now because uh, you're not, that's, okay. That's good. That that is so, good. so you can't receive. So so you were with the Lord today. <laughs> I was <laughs> that, in work. That was good right there. <laughs> I was in work. He was, and you were with the Lord then. Yes, sir. <laughs> wow. Yes, sir. Wow, y'all. So I, I mean, just basically go back and listen today. And, and know the operation of the Holy Spirit. Like I said, we have a lot of exterior things that he does in us. You can feel the love. He'll knock you out under the power. He'll give you a word of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But the best, I say, he wants uh, still to have a deeper experience of who he is. And his job is to guide, lead, and show us. Um, man, I tell you. It, and, he, and, and like I said, uh, knowledge is possession. Mm. Knowledge is possession. So this is why Satan gets us because the lack of knowledge, you perish. I love what you said, Pastor, in reference mm. to um, knowledge. And I just want us to be mindful. It's one thing to have knowledge of the word as we mm. understand knowledge. But what Pastor had said in a more deeper understanding of knowledge is possessing it meaning mm -hmm. that it's yours and you actually use it so we're not just quoting the word and having all the right scriptures to say and fit in the right places but we're actually possess the word living breathing doing practicing the word and my life demonstrate that god emmanuel is definitely with me and if you don't understand any of this watch this love is the most excellent way amen if you don't understand what I was talking about, I didn't even get into Abraham and thy seed and upon the seed and mm. all of that. I wanted to, but it just didn't have time mm. unto thy seed one. So mm. I didn't get into that. But love is the most excellent way. Amen. Love, love. And you are built, watch this. His expression of love in the earth is us. When mm. I say, I love you and you love me back, that's God. That's his expression. And so when people just have the hardest time and touching and wanting to be touched, that's a problem. There's a disconnect because mm. you were never designed like that. Mm. The real origin of man mm. is to embrace, is to love. Mm. God wanted to be so intimate. I'm going to create mm. you right at my footstool. Mm. I mean, I'm just saying husband and wife, they produce a child. The most intimate part is when they become one. I mean, it's if you're designed for that. Mm. You just got me going, oh, I'm sorry. You're designed. <laughs> You're designed to be touched and to touch. I love what um, uh, Minister Celeste said, too. She said, this is something I keep saying. When you're passionate about completing God's work, he supercharges you to keep going and to produce an excellence. It drives you forward and you don't get exhausted or tired. I love that. Sound like a supernatural human being right there to me. Uh, oh, supernatural power. Supernatural human. That's what yeah. it said. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Shalom said it's a wonderful class. Amen. <laughs> it, it, it's going to teach us some things here. Oh, we all have quite a few. Uh -huh. Give me a yeah. smile, Miss Medita. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is good stuff. I love y'all, man. I love y'all. I know I won't be on here for... Yeah, we're going to say goodnight. Um, 
Thank you. The beers were in the chat. You guys were fully, fully, fully engaged. Y'all know what, Frida? She's How many all, people we have in there? You all, you guys are just really engaged. I love it, Cynthia Ross. I love you guys. And um, wow, Pastor, phenomenal teaching. It is all right. We, it is thank good. God um, for you just continuing to uh, be open to what the Holy Spirit is saying and having the, the boldness and most of all the love of God to continue to lead us and feed us. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to say that. Be strengthened, Shepherd. Okay. We got 49 people on tonight, Pastor, and that doesn't include there's families, right? So you got the Connors, okay. um, Lewis uh, crew together. So some people are together. So it's over 50 tonight. Well, great. I love y'all. Y'all deserve this. Now put that word to work because it's already done. Mm -hmm. It really is already done. He ain't giving out no more cards. He ain't giving out no more. It's already there. You got it. You possess the land. Go possess what's yours by knowledge. And continue to keep Renika and her family yes. in prayer as she has lost her brother. Yeah. Um, and just continue just to cover their minds in uh, peace and that the hearts will be mended as they begin to um, prepare to do the necessary things uh, yes. for the transition of her brother. So continue to be strengthened, Renika, in the joy of the Lord. We love you. We have you covered, you and your family. Be strengthened by the joy of God. I appreciate that. Love you all. Amen. We got our sister, y'all. Amen. We Thank love y'all for all tuning in. Love y'all so much. We got to do this again soon, I guess. So. Once a quarter. Mm -hmm. Hey, Amanda. <laughs> Uh, this is when he's gonna start his shout outs. You yeah, guys go ahead, tell Pastor I'm good night. I'm doing it. Pastor, 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 I'm gonna do it. Pastor, Pastor, Pastor show the hoodie. Show the oh. hoodie, Pastor. Show the uh -oh. hoodie. Ooh, let's let's get it. Okay, and pants. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. Stay in my room. She got oh, it's official in the back. Yes. yes. <laughs> Go. I got a whole line coming out. Okay, man. Right. Whole line coming out. Abby's helping me out. We're gonna have a list. You can order your shirts. You can all this stuff. We got. Yeah, then we got to get the ministry stuff yep, going. Yep, yep, yep. I want us to be wearing ministry stuff.